Hey, what's up? I'm Roland Osborne. I'm here with Hans Wickling and Mark Canizana, two hyper pros. What's going on today? It's a good day. I'm at my favorite place in Southern California, Venice Beach. Yeah, what's up guys? Hope you guys are ready. We can get started. Some good stuff. We're excited today because it's going to be your first martial arts lesson. If you've never taken martial arts before, you're going to be in for a treat. It's awesome. You learn how to punch, kick, defend yourself while you're getting in shape all at the same time. It's pretty awesome. One of the reasons why I love martial arts is the life lessons that you learn throughout your training. You learn discipline and you learn focus, you know, and that's going to help you go very far in life. All right, cool. Well, let's get started. Let's do it. Let's do it. All right, let's get started. First things first, to be a champion martial artist, you have to have two things. One, you have to have respect. Two, you have to have the attitude of a champion. Now, when you have respect, you want to show respect to your teachers and your instructors, because they're the ones that are really going to show you the moves and techniques and how to do them to make you the best that you can be. You show respect by standing up straight when they're talking to you, looking in their eyes when they're talking to you, and always bowing and saying, thank you, sir, after class, before class. You want to show them you're ready to learn. The second thing you want to have is a positive attitude. This just means that every time you come to class, you try your hardest. You know the coolest thing about martial arts? The harder you try, the better you get. Every class you come to, you're gonna get better. So if you try a little bit, you get a little better. If you try a lot, you're gonna get a lot better in every class. And that's what the H in hyper means. That's why you notice there's two bars, because this represents that you're climbing the ladder of success. And every time you do a hard workout, you're gonna get better and you're gonna reach the top. You're gonna reach your goals. Really key, show a lot of respect to your instructors. They're gonna go and teach you everything and then always try your hardest in class. Now, let's get started with your martial arts moves. First things first, I want you to take your hands, lift them up like this, roll your fingers in and lock your thumb right on top. We're gonna to take your arm and you're gonna block across your body here and across your body here. If you can, you wanna hit with your forearm because you have a lot of muscle here protecting your body. So we hit here, cross, across, and across. Follow along with me, hands up, bring them in, and bring it in. You don't wanna stop here because obviously I can still get hit, bring it all the way across. Now let me show you what that looks like. Hey Mark, can you help me out real quick? Yes, sir. So basically here, if somebody's coming in to try to grab you or try to punch you, use that arm to block across your body. Here, coming across, he punches with the other arm comes across here, comes across here. I would block. If he reached in and tried to grab me and I block across this way, this is gonna protect my face and my upper body. Thanks, man. No problem. Okay? So have your hands up, make that tight fist, keep your body protected. The second thing we're gonna go into now is your basic strikes. Right? If your hands are up here in a lot of the beginning positions, if you punch, you're gonna have a crooked punch. It's not gonna be very strong. We want that to be solid. So what we do is we practice chambering our hand back to what's called home position right in here. That way when you punch, it'll come out nice and straight. One of the biggest mistakes is when you first start punching is you let your elbow come out like this, and then your punch does this type of motion. It's really weak. So what you wanna do is you wanna have that straight line punch. So go ahead and follow me. Take that, those hands, make a tight fist, Pull them back into home position right here, nice and tight, and practice pushing your hand out. Out and back. Out and back, just like that. Out and back. Now, when you get that a little bit stronger, obviously, you can put some power into it and really hit hard. What you want to do with your hand, if you look at my fist here, and you look at the direction of it, if my hand is here, if I punch like this motion, I would hit with this part of my hand. This is pretty weak. What I want to do is align my wrist so it's nice and straight, and hit with these first two knuckles, so that way I have a straight punch. Also, if I'm punching this direction, my hand's pointing down, you can hit this way, it could break, my hand's here. So we have to have that hand nice and flat, nice and strong. Let's try it a couple times together. Take your hands, roll them in, pull it back, and then punch, put a little power into it, and punch. Notice how I'm aiming with these first two knuckles in here. Punch, 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 excellent. That's what we call a single punch. If you do two in a row, pop, pop, that's what we call a double punch. Let's talk about your stance just for a minute. With your stance, if I'm on my tippy toes and I have a weak base and I'm trying to hit and block, I'm gonna fall over and it's not gonna be strong. There's two stances you can practice from. The first one is a front stance. Now you're like a mountain, you're nice and strong. So go ahead and take that stance for me, follow along. Just take your feet, they're about shoulder width apart. Step forward here like this. Bend your front knee so it's nice and strong. Take that hand and bring it across your face. Block, block, block. Now let's try some of your punches. 
punch, 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 just like that. Another stance that you'll see going way back into martial arts is your traditional horse stance. A lot of times we practice this stance to build the power up in your legs, to make them strong. And you don't have to worry about your base because it's solid. Then you can practice all your martial arts moves from here. So when you see this in martial arts movies or you see it on TV, you see it in class, this is the old traditional horse stance. And the lower you go, the more your instructors are gonna like that. It shows that your legs are stronger. It shows that you're a better martial artist. So you wanna practice that. This way, when you go to class, you're gonna look like a pro. All right, let's review real quick. We have our horse stance here. Let's try a couple blocks. We bring that block in. Notice my hands coming back to home position now. We got our punches straight ahead. Try a couple of those. All right, so those are your basic moves there. Let's go into some cool kicks. All right, so you learned some basic blocks, you learned some basic punches and strikes and how to stand correctly. Let's learn some cool kicks. The first kick I want you to work on is what we call front snapping kick. All right, your guard is up here, it's like this. We're kind of in our natural stance, a little bit in our forward stance. I'm gonna chamber the leg, snap it out, and bring it back down. Now the key to kicks is really three things. One, you wanna have a nice chamber, okay? The better your chamber, the better. Two, you want to have a nice kick. Make sure you kick properly. And three, you always want to bring it back. If you kick and leave your leg out, you're going to fall off balance. Somebody could grab your leg. Plus, when you get really good, you kick and chamber, you'll be able to do a lot more kicks and hit people with different moves. So chambering is important. So from this position, we're going to chamber the leg, snap it out, and right back down. Let's try that together. Go ahead and just kind of put your, your right leg back or your favorite leg, doesn't really matter. Your hands go up in front of you here. You're going to lift the knee up snap it out, and put it right back down with good balance. We'll try it two more times, ready? Leg up, snap it out, and back down. One more time, lift it up, snap it out, and back down. Let's try a couple fast. So when I say kick, boom, you're gonna snap it out. Ready, kick, pow, good, two more, ready, kick, boom. One more time, ready, kick, boom, snap it out, and back. Noticed, I kept my hands up, and I had my back straight, okay? That's really key. If you lean over like this, you're not gonna be able to kick very high. You want to arch your back. You want to keep your hands up. It's really natural when you walk, your hands do this. So when you kick, your hands will go like this. And then what happens is we start spinning, twisting, flipping. One hand goes one direction. Man, you're going to fall down, all right? So that's your first kick called your front snapping kick. Let's go to your first jump kick, the jump snap kick, all right? Same, same kick, but this time we're going to add a little hop. We're going to lift the other leg up, hop, and snap it out, all right? Let's try this together. Lift your left leg up. Kick with the same leg, hop, and snap it out. Good chamber, and step back to your stance. Again, lift it up, hop, pop, and snap it out. We'll try a couple fast, ready? You're standing natural, lift that leg up, hop, and kick. One more time, lift it up, hop, and kick. So this is what we call a jump snap kick. Some of the key points here, always keep your hands up. Keep your chin up, this will help you to kick higher. You lift that leg, boom, snap it up nice and sharp, over your head. Let's go to your third kick. Now this is what we consider kind of like your first trick because it's a jump kick and it's a spinning kick put together. And it's what we call the tornado kick, which is basically the same kick that we did, but this time you're gonna spin and jump at the same time. So we had our front snapping kick, we had our jump snapping kick, now I spin, jump, and snap it out nice and fast. What happens is your momentum will carry you and you'll spin really quick, you'll jump, Boom! Because you're spinning so fast, you'll snap it and it'll keep coming across. All right, so that's called a tornado kick. Let's try it together. A couple key secrets here is one, on any spinning kick, you want to turn and look. The person who turns and looks the fastest is going to have the fastest spinning kick. So what I have to do is turn, boom, and look as fast as possible. If I don't spot, I'm going to get confused, spin around somewhere. I don't know, I could kick here, here, anywhere. I'm going to lose balance, fall down, my kick's not going to look good. I have to turn. Boom, spot right away. As soon as I spot, I hop, do that kick, and I land with good balance. So let's try it together. You're gonna turn and spot, jump and kick, pow. Turn and look, spot, jump and kick, boom. The better you get, the faster you get. When you do it all in motion, it looks like this. You just spin quick, pop, and come right around. All right, that's your tornado kick. So let's practice all three kicks so you go to class looking like a pro. Kick number one, front snapping kick. Kick number two, jump snapping kick. Kick number three, spin, jump snapping kick, and set down your position. Have fun with those, practice them. Obviously, the more you practice, the better you're gonna get and the faster you're gonna get. Let's go on to some self-defense.
Let's go into some self-defense. Yeah. So we learned how to block, we learned how to punch, we learned some cool kicks. Now we're gonna do some self-defense techniques. One of the key aspects for self-defense is what we call the danger zone or critical distance. No matter how strong somebody is or how big they are or how much martial arts they know, if they can't touch you, they can't hurt you. So check this out. Hey Mark, can you come up here and help me real fast? Yes, sir. Now Mark's crazy. He can do some sick tricks. He can kick it like 100 miles an hour. I wouldn't want to be hit by that. If I'm this close to him, he's going to hit me. Action is faster than reaction. If I'm here, all his power is gone. Nothing he can do to hit me. So if he was to approach me, I always want to keep this distance around. I want to keep my hands up in here. Remember the blocks that we did and the strikes that we did? They all come from this position. So just putting my hands up like this kind of looks like I'm giving up. Look what I did with my leg. Remember that kick that we did? I'm ready to just defend myself like that. The technique we're gonna do is called three pushes. It's just real simple. Basically, I'm gonna do this block, but with my hands open to knock away his attack, and I'm gonna drive a move called a palm heel. The palm heel uses the heel of your palm, which is like the heel of your foot, one of the strongest parts of your whole body. What's great about this move is you don't have to make sure your fist is angled right or anything. You can hit solid with this. And then I'm gonna strike him to a target area uh, right into the nose. No matter how strong, how big, he could be the uh, size of a WWF wrestler. His nose is not going to get any stronger. And as soon as you hit that nose, your eyes water, can break really easy. He's going to put his head down, and then I can get away. So the technique looks like this. He comes in, he punches block one, I block two, and then I drive three. As soon as I hit here, look where my leg is, I could then follow up with the kick to get him away. So it comes out to about four moves, the kick is at the end. Watch one more time, then we'll do it together. So I'm here, he comes in, I block one, block two, boom, I would strike here. Now the good thing about the palm heel move is, even if he's grabbing me, maybe he's even choking me, and I'm not strong enough, I'm trying to get away. I could be a younger kid, I could be a female, and he's really strong. I can always reach up in here and push his nose. I can reach under and push his nose. And that is gonna stop him, get him back. I can kick and then take off. Because remember, self-defense is all about getting away and, and protecting yourself. Thanks, man. No problem. So let's try that a couple times together. You have your hands up here. I want you to kind of practice standing natural and kind of just walk back like you're kind of giving up. If I step back and I take a stance, well, they know that I know martial arts. They're either going to get their friends. They might pull a stick out. They might grab their belt, whatever they have around them. They're going to try really hard. If I kind of look like this, kind of look like I'm giving up, boom, I'm ready to explode on them to unleash, <laughs> all right? So we're here, put your hands up like this, kind of just step back. From here, you're gonna take your right hand, you're gonna push across one, take your left hand, push across two, and then you're gonna palm heel with that strike, nice and straight, okay? Let's try it a couple more times together. Follow me, your hands are up like this, you take a step back, you block one, you block two, you strike three, all right? Let's try it together, we'll go a little bit faster. My hands are up here, I step back, ready? Block one, block two, strike. A little faster, one, two, three. You have to really get the coordination down. Like I told you earlier, the coolest thing about martial arts is every time you train, every time you practice hard, you always get better. You get out of it what you put into it. You can't expect to try a move like once or twice and you're ready to go out there and take on the street, right? You gotta get it down. Think about your nerves, you're scared, somebody's coming to attack you, it happens fast. You wanna practice it over and over again so you can do it like that. So let's do it two or three more times. You just put your hands up, we'll do it together, ready? Go, one, two, three, good. Two more times, ready, hands are up, go. One, two, three. Last one, let's add that kick in. Ready, hands are up. One, two, three, boom, fire that kick in there. All right, so that's called three pushes with our kick at the end. This is gonna help you to protect yourself if somebody ever tries to grab you or attack you. You can knock their hands out of the way, you can drive that move. If they're choking you, you can get out of it. I wanna thank you for coming and training with us today. I hope you had a blast. We learned all the things that you need to know for your first belt in the martial arts. You're ready to go to class. You're ready to show that instructor how awesome you are. You're ready to go out there and get those next levels and hopefully work up to your black belt. I'm Roland Osborne. I wanna thank the Hyper Pros for coming out and helping me today. Thanks a lot, have fun, and check this out. Just for doing this lesson today, I want you to print out those two free lessons. Print out the hyper ticket. You can take that into any martial arts school and get some free lessons, all right? Have fun with that. Yeah. Thanks, guys.